Quickly before the video starts, the best way to grind these camos out apart from the tips that I will be giving you in this video is with people. So if you have friends, if you have anyone to play with, 100% hop into zombies with as many people as you can. And if you're looking for anyone to play with, there will be a link down in the description to our Discord server. There's like 1,100 people on there. It keeps growing ever since Vanguard launched. So if you want anyone to specifically play with, definitely join up. I even look for people sometimes, so we might even get to play together. And also be sure to drop a like on the video if it did help you out in any kind of way. And also be sure to subscribe as that does really help out the YouTube channel. And we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for watching. Hope this guide helps you out in some kind of way. Enjoy. The first thing that I'll go over is how to level up these weapons fast or relatively fast. I did make an in-depth guide on this or a review of the best ways to level up weapons. And one cool thing that I did discover is you can use Cold War or Warzone tokens on Vanguard. So what you have to do is specifically go on to either Cold War or Warzone, activate the said token that you want to use, and then hop back onto Vanguard and you will have the XP on the game for the certain amount of time now as of right now the timer does not pop up the timer probably won't show up until the warzone integration that we will be seeing on december 2nd with season one so as of right now you can't see how much time you have left but what i recommend for you to do is play zombies up until like level 30 on the shotguns and a great way to level up your weapons super fast in zombies is the first time that you spawn in activate the first objective super fast and kill 20 to 25 zombies and back out with the combination of the double weapon xp and doing this strategy over and over you will get to level 30 super fast you'll have pretty good attachments so that now you can hop over to multiplayer and play there to level up your weapon up to level 60 to 65 the reason i don't recommend for you to go all the way to 70 is because you can actually finish off the last few levels in zombies as you work for the other camos which i will be going over in a while and this strategy worked pretty well for me and one thing that i definitely recommend for you to do is complete each weapon at its own pace instead of doing them all at once which i actually did and that just took me super long there was no sense of satisfaction of completing stuff so just complete one shotgun move on to the next one now for the things that i recommend for you to use is obviously use all of the perks upgrade jug and quick revive and also the deadshot daiquiri perk really don't remember the name of it those are the main ones you should be concentrating on upgrading since stamina up once you upgrade it there isn't really much running involved on this map they're on fung and speed cola seems to be kind of either just broken or it doesn't work as it should because it doesn't even reload your shotgun super fast for the field upgrade i recommend using ether shroud but i myself found myself not to be using field upgrades all that much so they're not super important unless you're planning to go for super high rounds which is something i don't recommend for the covenants these are the three that i personally like to use and just always try to get and then upgrade as the rounds go up the first one is bloodlust so that you can melee zombies this will be actually utilized later for one of these camo challenges unholy ground which increases the amount of damage you deal when you stand still this is a huge one for the covenants camo challenge and the last one i like to get is death blow which basically when i get critical kills you can get a bullet back into your gun which doesn't require you to reload the shotguns multiple times which can be kind of tedious sometimes now for the perfect strategy that i like to use for this is something that i only noticed as i was finishing up these shotguns and that is using transmit but inside of the building that you can sometimes get teleported to where deadshot daiquiri is now there are two types of transmit that you can get up here there's one that the head can spawn upstairs and there's one where the head can spawn downstairs the one that you want is the one that spawns downstairs when i was recording my video of getting all these weapons done in one game i discovered that this area where i am standing right now is absolutely amazing for getting critical kills getting rapid kills getting kills without getting hit getting just all of the camo challenges so even though for a normal game where you don't get this specific location and transmit i usually recommend for you to play harvest which i still do because some of these camo challenges are better on harvest but this one just is such a brain dead strategy where you can just sit in one area shoot the zombie if you run out of ammo don't move forward because that will basically cause for the head to move further and then mess up the spawns and then you can essentially sit in this location similar to the one that we've had on firebase z with the colonel's office and just have the head relatively close to far away from you so that you don't move it and just stay in here and if zombies get too close up to you just back up and you should be okay now before we fully get into these camo challenges i will have all of my weapon attachments and everything linked down in the description if you want to check that out what i personally use for the seven attachments and everything like that so that will be down in the description but now moving on to our first camo challenge pack tactics i won't be actually going over every single weapon in their own category just every single shotgun should be behaving the exact same with these camo challenges so pack tactics just requires you to get 4,000 eliminations honestly this one isn't anything crazy and if you're going to use the leveling up strategy that i recommended you should actually make some pretty good progress till level 30 nothing insane but pretty good and just overall just kill zombies that's basically what i have to do moving on to the surgical camo this one requires you 
get 800 critical kills if you use the transmit strategy this will be absolutely easy but just overall always go for the head upgrade your increased deadshot daiquiri headshot damage perk still don't remember the name but it's a very good perk for this and just overall try to aim at their heads and this one isn't actually incredibly difficult since it's only 800 criticals moving on to the third camo challenge the predatory ambition requires you to get pack a punch kills i found out that round four is usually the round that i'm able to pack a punch first time so from round four and maybe sometimes you can get lucky with like a double points around three you should be able to pack a punch your weapon super fast every single time you teleport i recommend killing every single zombie in stalingrad before you move on which will basically allow you to get as much points as possible and don't upgrade your perks super fast just get the pack a punch first out of the way so that you can get as much progress on these kills as possible moving on to the reptilian camo challenge this one requires you to get 10 rapid kills 50 times once again if you don't get the strategy where essentially you sit in that one room on transmit what i recommend for you to do is have bloodlust covenant because this will allow you to melee zombies with extra damage and also gain your health back. So another important thing on this is your minimap. For quite a lot of these challenges, the minimap is actually quite important on this compared to the way it was in Cold War. And what I recommend for you to do is play Harvest, go up in the higher rounds. Once you play Harvest, progress to the first to the second stage. Maybe you don't have to move on to the last third stage of Harvest mode. And what you do is spawn in as many zombies as the game allows you. Concentrate on the minimap. Look how many numbers you have realize where the zombies spawn from and then melee them really quick with the bloodlust remember this also counts as kills with the weapon so don't worry melee does count and then quickly when you run out of the zombies try to find the next location where zombie spawns and start shooting them so a combination of bloodlust with shooting will make this super easy if you don't get the transmit location and you should be able to get this camo challenge done relatively quickly now you do need to get 50 of these and the pop-up that you're looking for is the carnage one it will tell you you know got like 10 rapid kills really fast it is kind of difficult because i don't know what they mean by how fast sometimes i do Doing it super fast and the game just doesn't track it so i don't know if there's super issues with that but this one shouldn't be incredibly difficult with the combination of bloodlust covenant moving on to the dead eye perk you have to get 2000 covenant kills so going back to the ones that i recommended earlier bloodlust the melee one counts for this and also the unholy ground counts for this as well you could use brain rot or i guess any other one that would do effects on the zombies but personally these are just the best ones unholy ground just requires you to sit in one location and you could just shoot crazy everywhere you should have this super fast complete since it's only 2000 kills the next camo challenge called berserker requires you to get a hundred boom shreer kills which are the red zombies that run around and like blow themselves up if you don't kill them fast enough or if, even if you kill them they blow themselves up this one is actually super easy and one cool thing to know is if you damage them in the slightest amount and they still blow up without you fully blowing them up that still counts so this one isn't anything challenging moving on to wildcat camo this one requires you to get 20 storm krieger kills which are the big dudes for this one i recommend you to specifically sit on harvest mode for hours what i recommend for you to do is progress as high of a round as possible the cool thing is past like round eight if you run around stalingrad which is the main hub after each objective there can be up to like six or even let's say eight storm creakers that spawn in just around the map so just run around and you should definitely find them a great way of taking them out fast is just going up to their face with the shotguns hopefully pack a punch and you can absolutely shred them so this one isn't anything difficult just move up the rounds the next camo challenge the survivalist requires you to get 2k eliminations with seven attachments for this one i will have every single attachment that i use linked down in the description this one isn't anything difficult for this one you definitely want to unlock this one as fast as possible just to get it out of the way because it does kind of seem tedious it's just another pointless 2000 kills added onto the covenant kills pack a bunch kills normal kills it's just a bit insane the next camo challenge mind games requires you to get three or more rapid critical kills in a you know short amount of time this one is super super easy it's definitely easier than a 10 rapid kills and you shouldn't have any issues with it just aim for their heads run around quickly bullets is a great thing for this or harvest or even transmit this one is just something that you'll probably get completed just aim for their heads as you're going let's say for the critical kill challenges and now for the last camo challenge it is called dead artist which requires you to get 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit which is something similar we had in cold war and one thing i will say the cold war one was way more difficult this one is super easy and i think it's slightly bugged out because even when i get hit sometimes if i get further kills it counts for the 20 kills without getting hit but for this one just try to keep your distance even if you're let's say struggling
struggling with this one, it's your last camo challenge. What I recommend for you to do is when you spawn in first into the game, since it's super slow, you should be able to complete this super fast. It's only 20 of them and you need to, you know, get like 20, 20, whatever. It's a bit messy to say that, but it's nothing incredibly difficult. I think the one that will be the most challenging is probably the reptilian 10 rapid kills 50 times and potentially the covenant and everything else just to like, you know, pack up. But hopefully if you use these strategies, hopefully if you use the covenants that I recommended, you shouldn't have any issues. Level up the weapons pretty fast with the strategy that I said. I will have the link down in the description to the video where I did go over each one of the numbers and everything like that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking if you did or subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. I think we're going to go do pistols next, I think. But without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.